morning all of you good morning sir good morning sir good morning sir i hope all of you are doing well okay yes all of you are uh, fine yes sir yes sir good morning okay okay let's start with our uh, third unit today uh, that is the logic and the reasoning uh, that is our last unit uh, related with the uh, syllabus for our in semester exam okay we are uh, hoping the exam will get conducted and with that hope we are conducting the classes so today our um, third unit that is related to the logic and the reasoning okay so today we'll discuss about the what do you mean by the basic concept of logic reasoning and um, then we see about uh, what do you mean by the knowledge based agent or the intelligent agent and it's a correlation with the logic and the reasoning and uh, the question which is being mostly asked on the initial part that is nothing but the architecture of the knowledge based agent okay this part today we will try to cover so uh, starting with the what is mean by the logic and the reasoning in case of the artificial intelligence and uh, now this logic and the reasoning this concept are being taken from the uh, same concept that we uh, use in the our real life also so be, first we discuss about what do you mean by the logic and what do you mean by the reasoning in case of our real life so can anybody tell me what do you mean by the, what do you mean by the logic in our real life yes with some example what is your view regarding the logic what do you think what is logic yes what do you mean by the logic yes shubham Hmm. Anybody, what do you mean by the logic? Bhavar Shubham. Hmm. Naneshwar. What do you think about the logic? Hmm. Yes. yes uh shortest uh, me uh, method to find out the uh, objective no no i mean the real life i am asking what do you mean by the logic yes shake up for arfin bade pankaj Yes, speak up whatever uh, may be in your mind. You can share with me, so that we can uh, discuss on that. So, no, no, I could. Some kind of predictions. Prediction. Way of thinking. Way of thinking. Slightly close. Slightly closer. Okay, you are slightly closer to the answer. so uh, in general life also we have come across number of time this word logic okay now generally uh, the logic so let me tell you the example so that you can get the clear concept 
now when we throw some stone okay when we throw some stone i hope you are getting the meaning of when we throw some stone okay that stone always going to be fall on the earth or when you throw some ball that always going to fall on the earth yes or no yes 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 sir stone manje kay dagad barobar na dagad tu tu dagad jar tumhi fekla kute tari tar to kuto finally kute padnar e to zamini varas padnar e it is always going to be fall yes or no why this is so yes sir why this is so gravitational force gravitational force that is because of the gravity understood yes. because of what the gravity so that is nothing but the logic behind the logic behind the certain statement uh, if you make like throwing throwing stone will always fall on the ground or throwing ball will always fall on the ground so so the logic behind that is nothing but what logic is nothing but what because of the gravity what because of the gravity so that is the logic understood so that is nothing but what it is some scientific fact or the basic fact or the knowledge about the real world yes or no so logic is nothing but what some scientific or the basic fact or knowledgeable uh, uh, knowledgeable fact about the real world is 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 there any change going to be happen in this logic yes is any change will going to be happen in this logic that something you throw it will always fall on the ground will this change no sir no it will no, sir. change understood so that is nothing but the what we called as a what do you mean by the logic it is a basic fact or the knowledgeable fact or the knowledge about the real world here i have given an example throwing the stone will always fall okay that is the logic behind the that if you throw the stone it will always fall logic behind that is nothing but it is because of what the it is because of the gravity understood now come to the another point that is the reasoning what reasoning now reasoning is what what do you mean by the reasoning now reasoning is the word taken from the reason or making some conclusion understood so here i have mentioned mentioned the reason is nothing but subject to the personal opinion or personal thought process so personal thought process uh, let me ask you the question whether the personal thought process can be the same for the different person or it can be a different for the different person yes sir yes sir it can be a different for the different person yes different sir? person that yes, is sir. the personal thought process the personal opinion understood but logic is nothing but the actual science it is the actual fact or the actual science that clearly follow the defined rules now related with this fact related with this statement throwing stone will always fall it is no it is never going to change the logic behind this thing is no never going to be changed but the reasoning can be changed because different the reasoning is made by the different person or the people reasoning can be changed related with the different things yes or no yes sir yes so if i say if i say that uh, if i if i just uh, throw the stone okay on your foot what if i throw the stone on your foot what do you mean by that what will happen stone khali padti na na what foot foot in the sense what apna pai pai ha pai. if i throw the stone on your foot what will happen pai aur padti ha par kay hoil nantar kay hoil kay na hotel ke kay tari thodi injury injury hoil kay hotel ke pai model like that kind of things yes or no hmm means that is nothing but the personal opinion personal thought process it can be a different for the different person or it can be a different for the different people correct or not 
yes sir if i say yes. if the stone fall on fall on, fall on, on your head if the some stone fall on your head now somebody might say the major injury will happen somebody say the person might get dead this kind of our personal opinions personal thought process yes or no yes sir yes sir so that is nothing but the reasoning the personal subject it is subject reasoning subject to the personal opinion or the personal thought process where logic is nothing but actual science understood we whether now in case of the throwing the stone on your head now definitely the stone will fall on your head if you if we if the stone will be thrown on in uh, in the direction of your head that is not not going to be change understood so that is nothing but the actual difference between the logic and the uh, reasoning understood where the logic is nothing but what it is the actual science or the something which is defined something which follow the defined rules okay here just like i given you the example and the reasoning is nothing but what reasoning is nothing but the personal opinion or the personal thought process understood now if you want to gain some knowledge if you want to gain some knowledge what is required thing if you want to get some knowledge you need to you need to have the information related with some basic facts how do you get the how do you get this uh, uh, knowledge that throwing stone will fall always how do you get this because you already studied this yes or no yes sir you already taken the experience of all these things correct yes means can i say from that the logic is nothing but the key behind the knowledge yes or no logic is nothing yes. but the foundation for any kind of knowledge that you are getting also and in the similar way if you have the knowledge then you can make some conclusion okay you can reach to the some conclusion you can take some decision okay now in the similar ways this kind of things we are having in our real life now we want such kind of knowledge should be there for the robot also should be there for the ai agent also you are getting my point the same kind of logic we want to put into the ai agent also so that that logic will be utilized by that ai agent and he can get some knowledge and accordingly he will he will make some conclusion accordingly he will be able to take some decision understood now in now in case of the artificial intelligence this kind of representation of knowledge is being done through the different kind of logics understood in case of the artificial intelligence this representation of is knowledge done by the various kind of logic by using the various kind of uh, languages we are going to see there how this logic uh, being uh, represented as a knowledge in case of the artificial intelligence okay now next point uh, that is a uh, uh, we should discuss here is nothing but what do you mean by the knowledge base okay what do you mean by the knowledge base so this is also we have studied knowledge base is nothing but the representation of some fact or the information about the real world okay now in case of our human being our knowledge base is nothing but our brain yes or no we used to uh, uh, gather the different information then we apply that information and from that from that information we used to uh, have some experience these all the things are being stored in our brain understood so that's why i am calling our brain as a knowledge base yes or no can we call our brain as a knowledge base yes sir yes because our brain contain the uh, different kind of fact on the fact or the information about the surrounding environment or the about the surrounding our real world understood now what do we mean by then the knowledge representation and reasoning what knowledge representation and the reason now in case of the artificial intelligence the uh, this is being also i have mentioned here by the short term uh, kr and r knowledge representation and reasoning now in case of the artificial intelligence this knowledge representation and uh, uh, reasoning it is nothing but the representing the information about the real world in the some kind of form so that the computer system or ai agent can utilize this to solve the various kind of complex problems okay what is what do you mean by the knowledge representation and reasoning 
representation of real world knowledge now what we want we want the ai agent or the robot should perform the activity like the human being yes or no that is our main goal yes sir what we want the ai agent or the robot should perform the same kind of activity it should take it should able to take the same kind of decision that human being is taking so what has to be done for that that is my question how it will become possible yes how it will become possible Hmm. The AI agent should able to play the game like the human beings. The AI agent should tell us, should able to tell us the what is the reason behind any kind of disease, that is the diagnosis in the medical condition. How these things will get possible? AI agent la the knowledge by charges the kind. AI agent should have that kind of knowledge. Yes or no? Now. Yes. Now, in case of the AI agent, in order to give that kind of knowledge to the AI agent, we have to represent the knowledge in certain format, correct or not? Yes, sir. Understood. And we also represent that knowledge in a such a way that we also tell it to the AI agent what is the reason behind taking such kind of decision, what is the reason behind such any kind of activity, yes or no? Now. this kind of things this kind of things as a knowledge being represented in such a format is there need of any such kind of any kind of specific format for representation for representation of knowledge to the uh, ai agent is there any need of representing that knowledge in certain format or not yes सर्टन फॉर्मैट मध्य नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंट कर गरजे है यस अंडरस्टूड सर सो देर इज अड बिकॉज एज आई एव मेन्शन इयर इट इज नेसेसरी इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इफ यू इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट सम एक्टिविटी टू बी एक्टिविटी टू बी गेट कम्प्लीटेड फ्रॉम द कम्प्यूटर ऑल्सो यू नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट सम यू नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट युअर वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू गेट कम्प्लीटेड फ्रॉम द कम्प्यूटर सिस्टम इन सर्टन फॉर्मैट suppose even if you want to perform the addition of 2 plus 2 you have to write it in the you have to write it in the center certain format using some programming language yes or no yes so in the similar way if you want certain work to be get done from the ai agent okay that you know to in order to do that we have to represent that certain what you can say information knowledge in certain format so that it can be utilized by the ai agent to perform certain kind of activity or to solve certain kind of problems etc etc and that concept is nothing but called as what the knowledge representation and the reasoning okay got the point knowledge representation and reasoning it is what is the field in the artificial intelligence dedicated to the representing information about the world representing the information about the world in the sense any kind of information if you want the ai agent should play the game then you want to represent the information related with that playing the games etc etc so here i have mentioned it is a field of artificial intelligence dedicated to representing the information about the real world in a certain form that a computer system or ai agent can utilize that to solve the complex task complex tasks like the diagnosis in case of the medical condition means performing the tasks like the doctors or having the dialogue in natural language in the sense performing the activity that we are experiencing from the uh, that um, uh, google app what i have told you which is which is interacting with us in the natural language that is which app i told you google uh, google assistant understood assistant. <laughs> and also it should be able to solve the or the different kind of real world problems like it should be able to play the game etc understood this point knowledge representation and reasoning yes sir 
okay so here i have mentioned in the similar way knowledge representation incorporates or the include the finding from the psychology about the how human solve the problems and represent the knowledge in order to design the formalism that will make the complex system easier to know. now these these particular things that is the knowledge representation now it is just uh, being done in the similar way just like just like the human being okay just like the human being solve the different kind of problems understood just like the human being take the experience from the real world in the similar way these kind of things are being represented for the ai agent using the different kind of logical language now what are the different kind of logical way to represent the knowledge that is nothing but our next uh, in this unit we are going to see which are the different ways to represent the knowledge understood that is nothing but our next uh, in this unit next time we are going to see so this is nothing but the concept of the knowledge representation and the reasoning representing the knowledge in certain format so that the ai agent can utilize it to solve the different kind of complex problem just like the human okay now our next point is nothing but where the uh, three marks question can be asked two mark question can be asked that is mean uh, concept of the knowledge base agent okay now we already studied number of time the knowledge is nothing but the basic element of the human brain to know and understand the things logically okay so how how our how how we apply the knowledge and how we get the knowledge that is through the our brain understood now when we when we get some knowledge about something then we can do that task very easily any kind of task we can do very easily for example now if you want to do the programming in certain language for example java now when you will become the perfect in you know to do the programming in java when you will become the perfect or when we can do the average programming in java when it will become possible that is my question when complete knowledge again about java when you study, when you study about the syntax of writing the programming yeah. java then different kind of functions procedures practice libraries when you do the practices then from you get the experience then you become what then you become the knowledgeable yes or no yes sir and when you become yes, the knowledgeable sir. then you know to do the programming in the java will become easy correct yes sir now same thing understood when same thing we are expecting from the ai agent okay what we want that ai agent will also perform the same thing just like the human being is performing understood so in artificial intelligence the agent which copy such kind of human being element what in the artificial intelligence the agent which copy such an element of human being what do you mean by the such an element of human being in ai the agent which copy such an element of human being are known as the knowledge base agent human sarkat ela knowledge tari pahije thoda sa element of human being understood the knowledge base agent manje kay the agent which can do the same kind of activity which can acquire the knowledge which can utilize the knowledge from applying the knowledge or getting the knowledge utilizing the knowledge he must able to get some experience okay and through the experience he must able to add some extra knowledge in his knowledge base etc etc so when when particular agent agent in the sense robot yes or no when such kind of agent or the robot do same kind of activity that is i have written here copy such an element of human being such an element of human being means how the way human being is getting the knowledgeable that is meaning of such an element of human being the way human beings are getting the knowledgeable in the similar way when agent when agent is also become the knowledgeable that kind of agent is called as what the knowledge base agent okay. got the point yes okay and here i have mentioned also mentioned another statement and intelligent agent need the knowledge about the real world for taking the decision and the 
reasoning that is the fact you know if you want to in your real life you if you want to take some decision if you want to become some if you want to become knowledgeable if you want to make some conclusion you also you also need to take the knowledge about the real world things different kind of real world facts then and then only you can make the decision and you can do the reasoning etc etc so that is nothing but the concept of what the knowledge base agent it is nothing but what the agent in the artificial intelligence who can acquire the knowledge who can utilize the knowledge and who can solve the different kind of problems etc etc in the similar way the human being is doing with the help of his brain okay the so same thing i have mentioned in the another word here also that is the knowledge base agents are those agents who have the capability of maintaining the internal state of knowledge having the capability of conclusion or the reasoning over that knowledge having the capability of updating their knowledge after observation and from that he can take the actions so this kind of things like maintaining the internal state of knowledge is these things being done by the human being maintaining the internal state of knowledge means what storing the knowledge yes or no is the human being capable to store the knowledge yes sir yes yes through the brain from that knowledge can human can human being make the different conclusion yes yes can human being have the capability of updating his knowledge through the different kind of observations yes yes so when same kind of activity being done by some agent when some kind of activity is being done by some ai agent then that agent is called as what the knowledge base knowledge agent. agent clear all of you yes sir yes sir now here i have mentioned the knowledge base agents are composed of or it consists of two important components that we are going to see the two important components are the knowledge base and the inference system okay so knowledge base agents can can perform the activities can make the decision can take the different kind of action like the human being and it can take with the help of these two important kind of components that we are going to study next okay let's see now this that component we are going to study uh, in the architecture of the knowledge base on this the eight mark question being asked number of times that is the explain or describe the architecture of the knowledge base agent okay now here in this this is the very important figure when you the question will be asked on this point you must refer this figure okay with the help, with the help of this figure we will try to uh, understand the different components as a, in the architecture of the knowledge base agent now you can see this diagram indicate the architecture of the knowledge base agent okay and you can see the different components here there is a knowledge base is there then uh, learning component is there then inference engine is there and the environment component is also there understood so we'll study this one by one in short we can see here the knowledge base agent which is being also as a short i have written the kba take the input from the environment by pursuing the environment here you can see here you can see the input is being taken from the environment environment in the sense what real world environment means real world real world environment is the mm -hmm. representing the real world anything from the real world so here you can see this is our uh, knowledge base agent part and this knowledge base agent part perceiving perceiving in the sense sensing the perceiving means what sensing yes or no sensing the information from the real world whatever it can be a different kind of information we have to uh, we have discussed number of sensors are there uh, which are being utilized in the different uh, you know to uh, which are being utilized to sense the different kind of information from the real world so this is the sensing okay being done by the kba that is the knowledge base agent next you can see the input is taken by the inference engine of the agent which is also communicate with the knowledge base so here you can see the another component of knowledge base agent that is the inference engine is there now this inference engine is also taking the knowledge from the knowledge base also 
and this inference engine also being uh, referring the information from the learning elements also i will tell you what do you mean by this learning elements and it is also sensing the information from the real world also so knowledge base can be a fixed uh, knowledge being there initially yes or no correct and afterwards the knowledge base agent can take the information from the environment or from its learning element and he can then up, he he then he then can uh, go on by updating this uh, everything into the knowledge base okay and you can see the third learning element of the knowledge base agent regularly update the knowledge base by learning the new knowledge here you can see the third part understood so this is these are the different components through which the knowledge base agent can uh, get the information through the environment through the uh, its fixed knowledge base as well as through the learning or updating the uh, learning elements also okay through these also he can uh, update his knowledge we will discuss on this point how what do you mean by the learning as a updating the knowledge base okay now let's see the one by one first component as a knowledge base okay this is our knowledge base this already we have discussed in the uh, previous point also okay so knowledge base is the main component of the uh, kba that is the knowledge base agent now what what is being stored in this part in the knowledge base all the first, data all the data all the uh, fixed kind of information etc etc being, yes, being stored in the knowledge base logics etc now here i have mentioned it as a, you can see this is a collection of various kind of sentences i have mentioned here now these sentences are not like our english language sentences for your kind knowledge okay what i said knowledge which is the collection of various kind of sentences now these sentences are being written uh, using different kind of uh, what you can say uh, using the different kind of logical form of the language okay using some logical language we can say okay so this sentence what do you mean by this collection of the sentence that we are going to see in the next part of this unit so collection of the sentence in the sense logic is represented in the form of the different kind of what you can say uh, language you got the point logic is represented here in this part using the different kind of language that language i am calling it as a logical language understood so here i have mentioned knowledge base is the collection of sentences here sentences is the technical term that is not same as a sentences in the language okay and here i have mentioned these sentences are expressed in the language which are called as the knowledge representation language you got the point so whatever thing you want to store in this part it is being stored with the help of or it is being represented with the help of what knowledge representation no, knowledge representation language okay so here i have mentioned the knowledge base of the kba that is the knowledge base agent store the fact about the real world now what is being stored here facts about the real world but can we store the facts about the real world as it is in the english language there yes can we store the facts about the real world in the natural language as a english language as it is in the knowledge base yes is it possible to store the real world facts in the english language as it is in the knowledge base and the ai agent la samjel ka ha mag te vicharto na mi apan nahi karu shakat na nahi tar mag tyacha sathi kay lagnar hai aplyala knowledge representation language language barobar ata te kasa represent kartat कि नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन लैंग्वेज कस हाउ वी रिप्रेजेंट दीज थिंग्स दैट इज आवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पार्ट ऑफ द स्टडी हियर यू जस्ट कीप इन माइंड इफ यू वांट टू स्टोर समथिंग स्टोर समथिंग इन द सेंस इफ यू वांट टू स्टोर सम फैक्ट्स अबाउट द रियल वर्ल्ड इन द नॉलेज बेस यू कैन डू इट बाय यूजिंग द सम नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन लैंग्वेज गॉट द पॉइंट ओके सो एंड इन ऑर्डर टू डू दैट there are the different uh, uh, techniques we are going to see okay just let me give you the example here for that we are going to utilize the proposition logic as well as we are going to use the formal logic these are the different way 
you know to represent the knowledge here in the knowledge base okay first point understood knowledge base okay then the question that might arise why we need to use the knowledge base why it is required for taking any action because everything is depend on the knowledge understood yes and if the now in our brain aple brain madhe initially sagla knowledge available asta ka ह्यूमन बीइंग च्या ब्रेन मध्ये नाही मग कसं येतं ते आपल्या ब्रेन मध्ये एक्सपीरियन्स एक्सपीरियन्स ने येतं तुम्ही यू स्टडी डिफरेंट थिंग्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा मींस दैट व्हाटएवर द इनिशियल नॉलेज देयर इन योर ब्रेन यू आर अपडेटिंग दैट नॉलेज यस और नो बाय लर्निंग सम न्यू थिंग्स बाय टेकिंग सम एक्सपीरियन्स correct yes sir now you know to do these things we need some knowledge base there understood same in case of the ai agent knowledge base is required for updating the knowledge for agent to learn with experience and take action as per the knowledge understood if the knowledge base is not there then nothing can be done from the ai agent same case if the brain is not there in case of for the human being human being cannot do anything understood if you might have heard about the person who have who have the brain stroke what brain stroke ja mansala brain stroke jala asto tu kay gushti karu shakto ka swata hun nahi nahi karu shakta understood because his main knowledge base is damage so everything is depend on the knowledge base so what i am saying in case of the ai agent or the knowledge base agent his brain is nothing but the his knowledge base understood one of the component of uh, his brain is nothing but the main component is the knowledge base okay let's go to the another component that is the inference engine or the inference system this part inference engine or the inference system understood now what is it it is the program programmable pro protocol for navigating through the rules and data in the knowledge system in order to solve the problems it is what it is a program in case of the ai agent it is the kind of programs okay it is being program as a program protocol i have written it is kind of protocol program protocol for what purpose for navigating through the rules and data in knowledge system what do you mean by these for navigating through the rules and the data in the knowledge system what is meaning of these inference system or the inference engine required for the navigating through the rules and data in the knowledge system navigating through means what inference engine does what inference engine when it receives some query when it receives some query it does what it compare that query with what this knowledge base knowledge system that is the meaning of navigating through the rules and data in the knowledge system now when when the inference engine can get the query when ai agent has to solve some problems yes or no yes sir whenever the ai agent has to some has to solve some problems okay it acts it accept it as in the form of the query and in order to answer that query he has to refer to what knowledge base getting yes sir Now we compare that whatever the query he has received in the knowledge base. Yeah. So what this inference engine or the inference system does, when it receives some query, or in order to do some activity, okay, it refer it to what it try to compare that with the knowledge base. Understood. Even if you are even if you are doing some programming, okay, even if you are doing some programming. now suppose uh, when you are doing the programming and you think about suppose now you have to uh, perform some uh, activity like uh, uh, you want let take the simple example only you want to uh, take the input from the user and print its result what 
you have to take the input from the user and print its result then you have to think on that yes or no yes sir yes sir okay you sh whether you should go for using some function or directly you ask uh, using the what kind of function you have to utilize what uh, whether print app scan app that kind of things you think on that understood now you are thinking on that means you are referring uh, the whatever the knowledge before you have uh, gathered yes or no if you want to take the input from user what function you utilize there correct yes sir you are referring your knowledge base am i right yes sir same thing is being done by the here inference engine that's why i have mentioned here it is a program protocol for navigating through the rules and the data in the knowledge system it search whatever he want in the knowledge base okay to solve any kind of problems understood same thing i have mentioned inference means deriving new sentence from the old deriving the new information from the old information you are getting my point deriving the new information from the old information let me take you the another example now suppose you go to the doctor and you to tell to the doctor sir i have such kind of symptoms i have the headache i have the uh, uh, temperature i have the breathing problem etc etc understood what doctor does there he uses his old information yes or no yes sir what yes, is his old information means about his experience sir the experience whatever you have studied etc and new information manje kai the doctor tells you that yes listen you have the corona kind of disease am i right yes sir that is nothing but what we work of the inference engine you got the point yes sir for the knowledge base asun चालेल का देर देर वी नीड द सम काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग यस देर वी नीड सम काइंड ऑफ कंपेरेटिव प्रोसेस हु कैन हु कैन कंपेयर दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेरीज विद दिस नॉलेज बेस एंड देन यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव शोन आफ्टर दैट नॉलेज बेस सम काइंड ऑफ न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन टू द इन्फ्लुएंस इंजन गॉट द पॉइंट हियर यस ऑल ऑफ यू कैन एबल टू सी यस सर inference engine receive the query then it send query to the knowledge base correct now inference engine can receive the query from the environment also yes so as i shown here inference engine receive the query from the environment then inference engine send it to where knowledge base correct knowledge base and then knowledge base send answer to the inference engine again and here you can see the output by the knowledge base so same part i have written inference system allow us to add the new sentences to the knowledge base now these sentences are being added to the knowledge base yes or no this sentences about the disease correct which you are told to the doctor yes sir these are nothing but the new sentences added to the knowledge base am i right yes sir yes sir that is that is the same thing i have mentioned so inference is in apply the logical rules to the knowledge base to deduce the or to create the new information understood now let me take you the last component in that okay that is the here i have mentioned this part learning or learning part learning now learning i have shown here means what learning is also adding something to the knowledge base yes sir now let me let me give the example related to the learning component of the knowledge base now consider you have you have learn how to drive you are getting my point situation you have learn how to drive okay yes sir uh, let me take the simple example you have learn how to drive the two wheeler and suppose you are driving the two wheeler you go somewhere in the city okay and instantly uh, there is a uh, what we can say uh, another vehicle come in front of you or uh, there is a speed speed breaker come in front of you you are thinking about you are driving but you are thinking about something and you are not having uh, your whole concentration on your driving you are getting situation 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you do what? You instantly press the brake. What? You are in the good speed, about sixty, seventy, and in, instantly you see there is a speed breaker in front of you. What you do? What will be your reaction to that? What will be your? Break. You you will you will press the brake instantly. Yes, sir. Upon zorat brake dabu. थोड़ थोड़ ना अपन का जोर कारण यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट इफ यू डोंट प्रेस द ब्रेक यू माइट गेट व्हाट यू कैन से फॉल यू माइट गेट एक्सपीरियंस द एक्सीडेंट देयर यस और नो बट नाउ यू आर लर्न दिस थिंग्स व्हाइल यू आर लर्निंग अबाउट द ड्राइविंग दैट इफ सम इज समथिंग लाइक स्पीड ब्रेकर और द अनदर व्हीकल कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू मस्ट प्रेस द ब्रेक करेक्ट दिस थिंग्स यू हैव लर्न व्हाइल यू आर लर्निंग द ड्राइविंग Yes or no? But yes, sir. yes, sir. Now at that situation that we are discussing, you instantly press the brake forcefully. Means forcefully in the sense, to be pour na brake laula. Now there can be a chances when you forcefully press the whole brake. There are also chances of getting the accidents. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your vehicle might get slide. Yes. yes now this is nothing but what learning point here you are getting my point yes sir you got the meaning of this component learning component yes sir now while you are driving you are learn something now you are getting my point while you are actually driving while you are actually driving you are learning also am i right yes sir and when you are actually driving you are learning also that is nothing but the updating of the knowledge base am i right yes sir but tumhala tya ves tumhi ja ves tumhala tu tasa ek experience yel tya ves tumhi ek tumchyakade ek you you are learning something new that apan ekdam purna break dabta kama nahi you are getting my point right. so that is yes, nothing sir. but the learning yes. that is nothing but the updating the knowledge yes correct yes, yes sir so this is the our third component related with the knowledge base agent okay first is the knowledge base itself then the inference engine inference engine and the learning learning element with the help of these three main elements our knowledge base agent works okay now in case of the inference engine i we have already discussed inference system works mainly with the help of the two kinds of rules what are that forward, forward chaining, chaining and the backward chaining backward i chaining. hope you are remembering remembering that concept what do you mean by the forward chaining and backward chaining yes. फ्रॉमेस final goal yes yes and backward chaining from the goal goal to or, the so, or some decision fact. you reach to the fact yes sir you got the point we have in details we have discussed that point so with the help of yes, these rules our inference engine works got the point yes sir now here uh, just uh, another uh, point related with the the operation being performed by the knowledge base agent there are the three operations are being performed by the knowledge base agents which already we have discussed but it is being represented with some kind of technical term okay here i have mentioned the following are the three operation which performed by the knowledge base agent in order to show the intelligent behavior what are the three op operation in that first operation is the tail operation what do you mean by the tail operation now tail operation is nothing but what this operation tells the knowledge base what it perceive from the environment what do you mean by this yes 
what do you mean by this tail operation yes um no environment kadun kay alay query te sangna sathi te sagla kutha knowledge base madhe knowledge base madhe thevna sathi kiwa knowledge base la sangna so tail operation so, like no. go like this yes or no like this yes sir or it can also go like this correct yes that is the tail this operation tells the knowledge base what it perceive from the environment from the experience etc et then second operation ask operation ask. ask operation knowledge base la vicharto ki konte operation perform karaycha knowledge base la vicharto ki kay ata suppose such certain query is being arrived now what action to be what action has to be performed yes or no yes yes sir and last operation that is the perform perform operation performing the certain Action yes. that is like this performing the that is the output correct or not yes yes performing the selected action so these are the different things related with the uh, knowledge base agent okay so these are these points we are going to refer in the further study of this unit also like uh, the points today we have discussed what do you mean by the logic what do you mean by the reasoning. What do you mean by the knowledge? <laughs> knowledge representation. <laughs> okay. I am receiving the noise from somebody else. Here it is. No problem. Okay. Here's Just switch off your mic. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Yes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website www.kidspages.com. Uh, somebody mic is somebody mic is on. Uh, we don't divide the generation, divide the. Uh, first, as we discussed. Okay, so 